it's kind of that whole hashtag humble brag. Like, hey man, I'm a humble guy, but blah, 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 blah. Humble butt, humble butt, humble butt. Like, I just should make a rap song called Humble Butt. That girl, she got a humble butt. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Press me button. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'ma hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward. Right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the daily bread. So a couple days ago, I talked about my definition of integrity, but today I want to talk about what my definition of humility or being humble is. You look at a guy like Andy Frisella, who I had on the podcast that that, uh, launched this week, the Breadwinner Podcast, and you see a guy that's got every supercar, every sports car that you could possibly imagine, the Lamborghinis, the Ford GTs. You name it, he's probably got it or has had it in the past. And and, and you would look at that and a lot of you would say, uh, man, this guy needs to be more humble, right? But it's so funny because it has nothing to do with that. Like he's worked to be able to get that. What if I told you, what if I told you that hustle was actually the definition of humility? Well, that doesn't make sense. What do you mean? By hustling, it is proving with your actions that, hey, there's nothing special about me. I just put in an insane amount of work every single day to be able to provide the lifestyle that I want to live for my family, to be able to provide the things that I want my family to have, to be able to do the things that my family and I want to do. Because in my opinion, for someone to sit back and not hustle, but still want those things, or still even be able to have those things, that is the opposite of humility. That's sitting back and they're like, hey, I got this. I don't need to do, I don't need to put all that work in. I don't need to go out and just grind it out day in and day out, 18 plus hour days. Like I don't have to be, I don't have to do those things to have what I want to have. I would tell you that hustle says, I not only want to do those things, but I enjoy doing those things because it allows me to know that I earned it. And so there's a huge difference between being humble and being weak, being humble and being poor, being humble and being meek, right? So many people, you talk about humble beginnings, humble beginnings. Number one, if you're talking about being humble on social media, you're not. Because the truly humble people don't have to talk about it, right? It's kind of that whole hashtag humble brag. Like, hey man, I'm a humble guy, but blah, 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 blah. Humble butt, humble butt, humble butt. Like, I just should make a rap song called Humble Butt. That girl, she got a humble butt. (laughs) Because she's humble, but I don't have really any time to waste on the opinions of others that want to talk about who's humble and who's not. Just some people, they don't get it. Like what's it going to take for you to understand? What's it going to take for you to realize that you're going to die? Like you are going to die. I'm sorry to surprise you with this announcement, but like you won't be here forever. So, I mean, literally there's a, there's a cemetery right up here. All right, guys. So As you can see, where we are, I just wanted to get on here and tell you, like, how many of these people are lying in these graves right now with ideas still in their head, with these thoughts that they had of doing these things that just never got around to it, that got busy with the everyday routine of life, that got busy with all of the stuff that we occupy all of our time with and how many ended up lying here and never ever got to live with purpose if you've ever seen regret in a man's eyes on his last days on earth it's one of the most sad depressing just painful things that you could ever witness because at that point like 
their opportunity is gone. They can't go execute. But you can. If you can hear my voice, that means that you are alive today. You woke up this morning. You have breath in your lungs and you have a full day ahead of you to go out and execute on your dreams. Go out and execute on those things that you want to do, but you're so busy that you can't do. We're all going to die. But you do not want to die knowing that you could have done better. Eliminate all these things that are making you busy, but aren't making you happy. Just go out and just be present in the world. Be present with your family. Be present in the opportunities that you have right in front of you, or you will end up like all these people here. And those opportunities are gone. So while you have them, make the absolute most out of them. It's 2018. Make this your year that you put in the work Make this your year where you went out and just attacked life, not let a life attack you.